that's right. If you uh, heard that correctly, you would know that it was time for the buzzkill. Now, if you were a regular listener, you would probably be thinking right now, wow, here comes some more political talk, right? Well, no, it's not going to go down like that because um, I don't want to talk about it. Well, maybe kind of. I want to talk about (laughs) this week white fucking trash. Now, if you're out there listening and you're white trash, um, um, this is totally you then, I guess. I'm not going to pull any punches on the buzzkill because it is a buzzkill. Anyway, so white trash is out there, and I guess it's the same thing as fucking politics, right? Because you could get fucking people like this white trash, which is politics, you know, but, you know, fuck that lady. Who I really want to talk about is fucking Sandra Lee from that fucking show on the Food Network. Now, I get fucking angry at certain things. Now, not like, you know, I don't, I get angry at stupidity. I get angry at, um, shit, everything, fuck it. I was uh, not so lucky in catching an episode of that lady's show. Now, Sandra Lee. Now, a lot of people like this lady, and if you don't know who she is, Google her. She does a show on the Food Network where she takes meals that um, would be considered um, expensive and recreates them for people that are poor. And she makes a big deal about how things cost when normally and how they're cheaper when she doesn't now i know this isn't a normal buzzkill but i really have to get this off of my chest because it she did something that was really really fucking retarded she decided to take it to the japanese dinner now this is where the white trash gets really weird now white trash they're out there they can't afford japanese food let alone care about japanese food probably and i don't blame them because they're white trash you know i like japanese food and i eat it all day but that's because i'm not white trash now these people, this lady, she, these people, including this lady, apparently, <laughs> they want to perpetrate like they know what's going on in the world when they should just be okay with being dumb and trashy. Now, so they tune into this lady's show, and she caters right to them, and she decides to make something that she called the green tea and ginger granita. Now, what she does is she talks about a Japanese dinner. Now, the Japanese dinner that she talked about had a dessert, And the dessert was green tea ice cream. Now, she takes each piece of that meal or section or whatever the fucking term is for the meal uh, and course of the meal, that's it, the course, and recreates it. Now, what she decided to do for the white trash is recreate something called the green tea and ginger granita. Now, the green tea... Hi. (laughs) The green tea... (laughs) This is so shame now. I don't even know what to say. (laughs) <laughs> the green tea and ginger granita. What she did, this is her, th- she decided to fucking make a dish to make green tea ice cream for white poor people to make. She took green tea, boiled it in water, and made green tea. And she put ginger in it. And then she put it in a pan and then put it in the freezer. And then before it froze completely, she took a fork and kind of like went through it, right? And made it like icy and like slushy. Put it in the freezer for a little bit, let it get no more. Then she repeated this like over like the course of a half hour. So when it was done, it was frozen, but now it was like green tea shave ice in a pan. And she served it as the the um replacement for green tea ice cream. Now, I've had green tea ice cream, enjoy it a lot, and I have t- and I have seen people <laughs> on TV. <laughs> okay, I was poor at one point and I'm never gonna do this again. I have I have seen the act of taking a fork to the ice on a fucking freezer, chipping it off and thinking like, oh yeah, there's shave ice, right? So basically what this lady did, it was she told the world, now this is on national TV, that instead of buying green tea ice cream that would cost you $1.35 a scoop, spend 35 cents on green tea ginger granita where you just scrape ice off the top of your fucking thing. Now, now the white trash out there, they do this a lot. Now, they did this with KFC. Okay, so KFC right now has this fucking thing called the double fucking double down, I think it's what it's called. It's a piece of fried chicken, two pieces of fried chicken. Now this is makes me fucking mad because people think this is stupid. Two pieces of fried chicken with a piece of 
bacon and some cheese in the middle of it, and they're calling it a sandwich. Now, it looks bad. Like, if you're, like, fucking into fucking um, your health, it's probably bad. But in reality, all it is is a two-piece meal without a fucking biscuit. Now, what they've done is they've made this thing, and people are in an uproar. And and it's basically dumb white people that are in an uproar. Be- why? Because they don't know what they're really looking at. What they're really looking at is cordon bleu. And if you <laughs> have any type of fucking class, you would know what cordon bleu is. That goes right back to fucking me talking French at the end, or speaking French at the end of the show, is because people don't have a fucking idea what is cordon bleu. It's a piece of chicken with a piece of ham and some cheese rolled in breadcrumbs and fried. And everybody loves it. White trash, I hate you. I wish you would all die. Sandra Lee, I hate you. And Sarah Palin, um, what do you have to say about the oil spill everywhere? I'll drill, baby, drill. That was the buzzkill. I would play the music right now for you, but I think I totally don't have it queued up. If I keep talking like this, I could get it all queued up for you, like so. 